Now next up, we meet photographer Scott Baxter, who has found inspiration in the American frontier. For most of the last decade, Scott Baxter has photographed over 100 cattle ranchers and their family-owned ranches. And as you'll see in our profile segment, he's found a way of preserving centuries-old traditions of America's true cowboys. Some of these ranches that we're photographing aren't going to be around because, uh, you know, development's going to find it, you know, its way in. And, and there's a lot of ranches I know that there's no one coming up behind them, so they'll most likely be sold. And I just thought, what if photographically I could at least try to record some of these families that have been around here since, you know, since 1912 or earlier. And that's, it kind of started that way. I didn't really plan to do anything with it. I just wanted to see if I could accomplish it. We call it 100 years, 100 ranchers. And basically the criteria is the family has been ranching in Arizona continuously since 1912 or earlier. My ancestors came here from Valencia, Spain in the 1840s, and they were coming to Tucson by covered wagon. This is the uh, Amado family, my great-grandfather. About 1852 is when they set up the ranch at Alamo Bonito in what is called Amado. This family is a very historic family, it goes back a long ways, and a beautiful ranch too. And one of my, uh, Santa Cruz County is probably one of my favorite places to be in the whole state. Photographs should be really easy for you to look at. You know, it doesn't mean it has to be Pollyannish or, you know, beautiful or anything. It just has to be easy. And if it's easy, it's good. And then, uh, Henry, just kind of right in the middle. If I push too hard, if I really try too hard to push a photograph, it just doesn't work out for me. I kind of let the photograph come to me. There's not a set process. I want to get this side too because it's got your brand on the horse's shoulder. I have, you know, aside from scouting a little bit the day before and knowing I wanted to use that big sycamore tree, I don't, there's not a, you know, I don't have like a list of what I'm going to do. I just kind of walk in and, and it's kind of the way I've always worked. I just kind of wing it and, and uh, it kind of works for me. It doesn't work for everybody, but it works for me. Perfect, guys. Okay. The last one with this camera for now, at least. I was standing there. Okay, straight in. Last evening by the tree with uh, between two horses and okay, with my son and grandson on each side of me. Very proud. It just gives you an idea. It's a small shot. Now you got to kind of look at it, but you want to show that pride. I mean, they're very, as a group, they're they're very proud of, of their of their heritage. They're very proud of what they do. So that's kind of where we're at. So we're gonna we're gonna shoot a few more with this camera. With the portraits, you just kind of, you know, you kind of take a little more time and kind of get your frame up the way you want it, and then you, you know, you read your light and you shoot it. Five, six, one, twenty-five. Well, I think it's a wonderful thing that. That, that Scott came up with this idea. But this is actually very nice where we're at now. It's recorded history. I don't think they're really looking for recognition, but I think they like the fact that there's gonna be a record of this somewhere for, you know, for their kids. I treated this in a lot of ways, just like it could have been shot, you know, 100 years ago. I bring a digital with me, but that's just to shoot stuff for them. But we're shooting just straight black and white film, no lights. So it's basically camera film and a tripod. And that kind of forces me to really think about my composition a lot, because I don't have a lot of tricks in my bag. And it kind of makes you think a little bit more as a photographer. Now this one is a little bit more, this is like the old style. This takes, no, it won't, it won't blow up. Yeah. I've not had a bad experience. And I've got a story for every single ranch that I've been at. That's perfect, right there. Hold that. You know, the photographs are kind of the icing on the cake, but but the real thing is, I, I just. Thank you, sir. It's in. Yeah, that's it. You know, they're a great group of people, and I, I've just been real honored to to have the opportunity to meet them and spend some time with them. They're all hardworking. They're just hardworking people who just like they they love what they do. You know, and they really love the land. I mean, that's, that's the thing that I've kind of come away with is they, are re they really love this land and they really want to take care of it. Baxter's wrote a book for his 100 Years, 100 Ranchers project. To learn more, visit 100years100ranchers.com.